from the new film, The Substance, to me more. Plus, we're kicking off our Turn Back Time Week with a chat about supplements that may help healthy aging. Also, a performance from a trio of talented brothers, the award-winning Los Lonely Boys. All next on Live. And now, here are Kelly Ripa and Mark Consuelo. September 10th, 2024. You guys are a rowdy crowd. I love it. Calm down. You know how you get on a Tuesday. <laughs> I think they're going to break break the mold. You think? Yeah. I think they're 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 ready to go. Um, so I, I just want to start on a very uh, sad note. Um, the legendary actor, James Earl Jones, passed away yesterday. And I've got to say... You know, there are certain people you just assume will live forever. And I speak on behalf of all of us. Yeah. James Earl Jones was that singular person. And how lucky we are as a, as, as a people, as a society, that we have his voice forever. We can, he's forever with us. Yes. You know, it, obviously his acting, uh, stands alone. He is a singularly important person in all of our lives. We all feel like we knew him. Um, my ringtone, when you call me, it is James Earl Jones's voice saying, what is thy bidding, my master? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. when, my when my father calls me, it is James Earl Jones saying, I am your father. <laughs> Um, and he is such a big part of my life. And, yeah. and one of the reasons I love going to uh, the big house at the University of Michigan is because if, if you go watch a football game there, the entire thing starts with this jumbo screen. Yeah. And it's James Earl Jones. Who went to the University of Michigan as a grad, yeah. This is the University of Michigan. And you're like, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you know. We'll, we'll always have that. A, a 93 years old, a life well lived. Yes, yeah. and we have a clip from, is it really from 2010? Wow. Yeah, yeah, 2010. 2010 of James Earl Jones on our show, which I haven't seen, okay. so let's roll the clip if we have it. Or we could see. <laughs> will you for us just say, will you tell... Will you tell Regis that you are his father? <laughs> please, please, I'm begging you. I've been waiting. <laughs> to I tell have too, you, Dad. <laughs> Regis, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. He'll, he'll be missed. What a hey, uh, pivoting, pivoting. Uh, tennis attire. Since we were talking about the U.S. Open yesterday, we had yes. the, the champs on. We got our hats. It's everywhere. We got our hats. Uh, credit the pandemic and social media and pickleball. So tennis attire is becoming more of like the leisure wear. Yeah, they have ah. leisure. yeah. right. Well, it is cute. It's really. Do you? We took two flights to um, to yes. London, yes. One, and, and one last year, and there was this young guy that came on the plane. And we both thought initially that it was our son, Joaquin. He had curly hair, and he was dressed. He had a racket, he threw it up in the thing, and he had tennis shorts on, and he had what seemed like a tennis shirt. I've, you know, since seen um, them in, in the championship, they were wearing all these cool, like, shirts. Yeah, he had, he had very cool gear. Yeah, and, and he had giant bags of beef jerky. Which he, he was just eating <laughs> beef jerky giant on the way bags. to London. And I was we thinking, were fascinated by him. Gosh, I, I hope that goes okay with all that beef jerky on an eight-hour flight. <laughs> and anyway, then we go to the hotel in London, and we see him, in, we see him there. That's it's wild. Still wearing the same stuff. 
<laughs> we go back six months later to London, at least six months. Yeah. And we're in the hotel, and we see the kid again. And now we're convinced he lives there. That he lives there. And then Mark said, he probably thinks we live here. <laughs> but but he looked cool. What, what oh, it's a long way of saying, no. It's, we don't know who he is. Oh, we think he's an up and pro? Color. He must he's be a pro. He definitely seems like a young pro, like an up and coming. Coming athlete. He, like, we don't know him yet. Right. But we can say we knew him when we right. shared <laughs> that flight. <laughs> and he was eating metric tons of beef jerky. Did you I, no, but, he looks like Joaquin. <laughs> that, like, that's the best way I know how to describe Lola it. we told about this kid. We told, told Lola, like, when I say kid, he was, right. you know, in his early in 20s. His 20s. And she said, that's wild. And then six months later, we're walking through the hotel with Lola. And she goes, is that the kid you were talking about? I'm like, how did you know? <laughs> because he's so reminiscent. Like, when, when we first saw him, I was like, our son just got on this flight. Yeah. But then he turned around and it wasn't him. But from behind, it, looked he, like it looks like our son. Yeah. It's a long way of saying that tennis leisure is cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a really, a really long way. And, a, and the athletes really eat a lot. A lot. <laughs> they eat a lot. Um, anyway, uh, Chris Sununu, uh, uh, the New Hampshire governor, Chris yep. Sununu, I, I don't know if you read this story, I but didn't. I found this uh, fascinating. And Gelman, of course, because he never tires of crediting our, our show for everything, yeah. says, you know, Chris Sununu must watch our show. <laughs> and I go, well, how do you figure? And he goes, well... Uh, he saved a man who was choking on a lobster roll during a lobster roll <laughs> eating competition. He performed uh, the Heimlich maneuver, and over the summer, we showed people the Heimlich maneuver. I said, maybe he saw the show. And I was like, wow, I that's start really quite a leap. <laughs> a lot of people yeah, know that. People. I'm, yes, no, we got I myself had known the Heimlich one of the, maneuver. I mean, I knew it we back got when I was in kindergarten. by people saying that they learned and saved people. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a very important maneuver. Yeah. Well, Sununu yeah. uh, saved uh, Christian Moreno. Uh, he started tapping his chest, indicating he couldn't breathe when he choked on uh, the lobster roll. Mm. And Chris Sununu jumped into action. He performed four to five abdominal thrusts <laughs> before uh, before emergency responders jumped in. So he, I guess he didn't watch the entire segment. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. He got the assist. <laughs> um, you know, eating hot dogs, because you can... You know, those are also yeah. choking hazards for kids. Yeah. Yes. But they, you can chew those up pretty well. Yeah. Lobster, sometimes you have to, like, really Big chew time. a bunch before you break it down. Mm -hmm. So I could see that that being, you know, kind of a dangerous thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what say you about that lobster well, roll well, committee? Well, Chris kept eating and, and ate another seven rolls. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. He re oh, he was after competing after in it. Yeah, Chris, Chris Moreno. Yeah. Chris uh, Moreno. Uh, Christian yeah. Moreno. Chris Sununu. Wait, so the guy who was choking... Two Chris's. Got it uh, dislodged and then, and then, went, then went back and ate seven more lobster rolls. Yeah. <laughs> lobster rolls are delicious. They're, 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 they're good. <laughs> they're good. Um, hey, have you seen all the um, Apple products that are about to unveil? Oh, yeah. Have you, seen, have you been reading about yeah. this? Mm -hmm. Apple unveils uh, an AI phone. It's called, you know, AI. They're calling it Apple Intelligence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Includes a, an improved. Siri voice, uh -huh. a new a Siri voice assistant. Sorry, an improved Siri voice assistant and a variety of text generation and photo editing capabilities. How does Siri think? Of, how does she feel about that? <laughs> I, I don't her. know. Every time I ask her, she says she doesn't understand. I that. did. I asked her. She goes, <laughs> I don't understand. So we, I guess we do know how she's, <laughs> she's feeling. Also, um, Apple says the AirPods Pro 2 will be able to double as hearing aids. Oh. oh. I know a few people we need to give those to <laughs> <laughs> that, we're, that we are related to. That we may or may not be related to, <laughs> yes. Right. That's yes. going to be cool. Certain people I was talking to about maybe having their hearing checked yeah. said that this person does not want to have their hearing checked because this person enjoys not being able to hear certain other people. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they also double as noise reduction at, at concerts. So if yes. you go to a really loud concert, you can put them in your ears and they... The, the ones that I have now, I will say, 
even though they are noise canceling, mm. and they cancel most noises, your snoring on an airplane will still break through. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because I put on my podcast, I hit the noise canceling. So I have noise canceling, and I'm listening to a podcast, and then I'll hear. <laughs> and then I get up, I lean over, and I smack him, and then I go back down. Um, now it's a closed fist. It's not an open, open fist. <laughs> <laughs> it's your Zora, it's a closed fist slapping. Um, hey, bad news for the Jets. They lost last night. Aww. Yep, they lost 32 to 19. <laughs> Uh, and also the Giants lost this weekend. Not a good, yeah. yeah, but at least Aaron Rodgers played, I guess he played the whole game. Because last year he got injured in the first few snaps that he took and mm -hmm. he was out the whole mm -hmm. season. Um, so it's going to, I think it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be a tough year for football in New York. But well, not I think in you Tampa keep, Bay. You keep forgetting that the Eagles also won. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, Ash? Uh, Ash, did the Eagles play the Bucks this year? Where, where? In Tampa. Should we do our bet again? Let's do it. Yes. So, if I win, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you some of Tampa's finest cuisine, uh, Hooters chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> and if you win, I'll eat a Philly's cheesesteak. Okay, let's do it. How is that? That's, it's a win-win. It's a win -win. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know who to started in the Tampa, Tampa Bay, Tampa Clearwater area. Mm. Yes, I know. We're, we're you very always, we're very you proud always of that. tell me yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when you took our son to Hooters for, he no, was having a no, play date no. with his friend. And the, I'm not kidding, no, the two no. dads took the sons no, no, to no. Hooters. No, no, no. They no. came in reeking of cigarette smoke. I was like, did you guys sit in the smoking section? They were like, the whole place is the smoking we, section. <laughs> to be fair, we went on a dad and kid play date, right? And you know, sometimes when you kids, your kid's friends with a kid and you, you, the parents are like, all right, fine, I've got to hang out with the parent as well. Wasn't like my go-to like hangout. And it was solidified by the fact that he said, well, we're gonna take the kids out to eat chicken wings. I said, sure. And he was driving and then we pulled into Hooters. <laughs> Blaming the other dad? I blame, yes. Blame the other blame dad the without dad. the talk show. <laughs> I would. <laughs> um, just, so, just so we know, it's going to oh be gorgeous gosh. here in New York this week. Look at that. Look at that. Sunny and dry. Sunny yeah. and dry. Oh, yes, that. that is gorgeous. That's okay. gorgeous. Okay, we have a huge show today. Massive. Demi Moore. Demi Moore. Yeah. And apropos to this, we begin Turn Back Time Week with a look at supplements to help with aging healthy, healthily. Healthy aging. all these supplements except for two there are two i never heard of before but i take all these supplements and i gotta tell you i'm like ah, ah. <laughs> you think yeah all right yeah go to your high school reunion yeah <laughs> they're not taking them <laughs> because we're bathed in the most glorious lighting. Everybody sitting at this desk <laughs> immediately really looks 15 years younger. <laughs> and then they take the desk away and then the reality <laughs> pushes forth. Uh, a performance by Los Lonely Boys. Yeah. I, I've, I have become so dependent on this desk that when I see myself not lit by this desk, it, I become so very depressed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very disappointed in myself. I hold it against myself. <laughs> all right, it's the reason you all showed up today. It's time to play. <laughs> Let's say hello 
to Deborah Garrett from Friendsville, Tennessee, who watches the show on WATE. She wants to stop me to see Kelly and my expressions when she wins the mug and T-shirt. I'm going to give you a good expression today, Deborah. All right. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Kelly and Mark. Good morning. How's it going there in Friends Friendless Friendsville, Tennessee? It's a sunny 50 degrees. Beautiful. Are people friendlier it's, it's, there in Friendsville? Of course we are. <laughs> All right. All right, you know how this game works. You're giving us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to decide which is the truth, and if you stump me, you'll win this. All right, here are Deborah's two statements. I am a leap year baby, Ooh. or my siblings and I were all born on the 17th. All right, let's get into it. So you were born on February 29th of a year? I was born in 1960, yep. But on February 29th? Correct. Okay, when do you celebrate your birthday, which like when it's not leap year? Usually March 1st. That's correct. <laughs> and so, and so, what is that, like, age-wise, like, what are you, like, 12 years old? No, I just turned my sweet 16 this year, Kelly. Ah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, all your siblings were born on the 17th. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. Okay. And just... And my... Yeah. My ahead. aunt... My aunt and my dog were also born on my birthday. Okay. Well, I do know this because I got stuff going on up here. <laughs> that to be born and on a leap year day would be, it's like 0.06% chance. That's correct. That is. <laughs> and to have three siblings on the 17th is 0.1 something percent. And my sister and my stepson were also born on the same day. So say you. <laughs> and, Mark, I share my anniversary with Mark and Lori Gelman, June 17th, Well, Mark, Well, Lori Gelman would be very surprised that she's married to someone named Mark. <laughs> oh, but... <laughs> Michael Gelman. Michael Gelman, yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, here's what I think. What? Here's what I think. You're doubling down on the 17th thing. You're really double. You're pushing me towards that. And statistically, statistically, it's, it's more likely to happen. But I'm going to go against the statistics. I'm going to say every four years, you get to celebrate your birthday on February 29th. Guess what, Mark? What? I'm gonna enjoy that shirt and that mug and add it to my collection. You are wrong, Mark. Yes. Big reaction for Deborah. You that? Big Boomy. reaction for Deborah. She's getting big. I like reaction. you, Deborah. I like you, Deborah. You too, Mark. You're good. You're good. You're a good player. I liked it. I liked it a lot. You won the mug. You won the t-shirt. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time for great getaways travel trivia. <laughs> Green Bay, Wisconsin, in town to celebrate. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Good for you. All right, Deja, spin that wheel to see what else Deborah's playing for. All right. She almost beat you. She almost, I mean, she did beat you, but you almost, yeah. you know, she like, she, she double-crossed me. She knows oh. how to get into you. She lives in your oh. head. She okie Almost me. doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right, Deborah, you're playing for a trip for two to the Fairmont Maya Coba Resort in Riviera Maya, Mexico. Seven days and six nights. It's all inclusive. It's a prize valued at $9,400. You have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck, Deborah. Deborah, here we go. Thank you. Deborah, we've had Edie Falco on the show. On what series did Edie say she was appearing when she auditioned for The Sopranos? Thank you. Hey, Deborah, when is your birthday? Just out of curiosity. My birthday is January 17th, oh, and so is my dog. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'll be turning 65, so that'll be a nice birthday present oh, for me. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Well, listen, Deborah, now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive the always popular Roomba Ooh. vacuum cleaner from iRobot. So please pick a number between 1 and 197. And a shout out to my mom and my sister who's watching in Hellertown. Um, the number is 17. 17. <laughs> Forty-five. Today, we had three hundred and six. Oh! That was great. All right. I actually, I actually like that memory. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. yeah. So all next week, we'll be attempting to break more amazing Guinness World Records, including a dog who can remove the most socks in a minute, and a guy <laughs> who will attempt to jump over seven cars with a pogo stick. Yeah. Art Moore, Science Bob, <laughs> even came up with a record that you can get in on, so you finally have an opportunity to get yourself yeah. into that book. Did we place art there creepily for just this moment? <laughs> it's just, it just worked out. I just like turned my head and that was the scariest thing I've seen in a long time. <laughs> You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's gonna be a very exciting week. All right, let's get to it. She is one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Please welcome the iconic Demi Moore. <laughs> Since you've been here, you've yes. become a grandma, which I is have. like setting, there's like a whole new benchmark. So, can you believe that your baby has a baby? Take it's, me through what that It's pretty incredible. Like. Yeah. It almost is a bit surreal. Yeah. I had a great evening with her last night. Oh, my yes. gosh. And you were there for the birth. I yes. was there for the birth. Um, with peel off in a sling, though. Of course, <laughs> right. With your um, own baby. With my, little, my, with my baby. Right. Um, yes, which was incredible. Yeah. I mean, so moving. I mean, I, it's, it's almost hard to really put into words how incredible. Do you go by grandma? No, no, no. No. I, um, I, I, was, I, was, I was, had a little bit more forethought that if I did yaya, then it would move me up on the list of her first words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because babies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah is adorable. It's very cute. It's Greek. Yeah, it, it is Greek. Yes. Yeah. I'm not Greek, but it sounded it good is. to me. Yes, it does sound good. Yes. So you must be like an amazing babysitter. I feel like I was like built for this. Yes. Like I love it. I love getting down on the floor. But it's exhausting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can, can it's you exhausting. imagine that you did it three times? No, I can't. <laughs> we did it working. Yes. Right, that so we funny. did it also working, yes. which I have a lot of respect for working moms. Yes. It's yes. really, yeah. yeah. It's hey, listen, your other baby, your other baby, Pilaf, world traveler, you, is there any place you don't take this beautiful little dog? You know, I try to be careful that she doesn't get overexposed, um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but she does go everywhere, as you guys know. We yeah, took I, her to a Madonna concert. Yes. I mean, amazing. I have, it's, what's so funny is, 
I feel like Pilaf slept through the whole concert. Yeah, she watched a little bit. She took it in. She was like, yeah, this is good. And then she yeah. rested. Yeah, exactly. I she rested. I heard her say, I like Lady Gaga. <laughs> no, stop. Why now? Why, did you, why do you have to That's what she said. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> it must have been in secret with you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to Demi about St. Elmo's Fire Tutorial. When we come back, stick around. Still ahead on live, a performance by Los Lonely Boys. Because I didn't, I, I didn't have the same response mm -hmm. to this moniker of being called the Brat Pack in terms of m how I moved forward. So I was so curious to see how different our own experiences can be based on how we hold something. So mm -hmm. really in talking with them, like none of us liked being called a brat. We wanted to be taken seriously. Right. So it was, and, and I, it, it was really, um, heartwarming to be kind of brought back to that time yeah. like what a quintessential moment in all of our lives I mean, we were it's like big what, in our lives 22 that, years yeah. old yeah of course yeah and isn't it funny that brat is now the greatest thing <laughs> I know <laughs> I mean I, maybe that shows the progression yeah maybe that, like that maybe we've evolved that documentary could be the reason where it's like it's you know, the brat summer yeah yeah St. Yeah. Elmo's Fire reunion <gasps> talk it's happening is, is, it, is it happening it is happening oh thank it's God. happening For something long enough, it will happen. <laughs> so they want their the studios driving it. It seems like everybody's interested. On board. To, yep. I mean, I would love it. I, 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 I did a wait. you know when I did the panel with Andrew, he had Ali Sheedy there, who yeah. I hadn't. I realized I hadn't seen in thirty years. Oh my god! And it just, I my heart just melted. Like I, you just, it's those moments that where you remember. Like how far you've come, where you've come from, and just yeah. just how grateful and lucky I feel I am in my life. Yeah. And it was sweet. Ellie is just best. She's just I the love, sweetest love. girl. I just love her too. Yeah. Well, we can't wait um, for that. Uh, right. We need to take a break. Um, when we come back, we're going to talk horror films with Demi Moore. When we <laughs> yes. come back. tomorrow on live from the new series High Potential, Caitlin Olsen. Are you good to go? I wish you the best. Okay. That was a clip from the new movie, The Substance, which that clip really tells you very little. Yes. Um, but a lot, but a lot. And we watched this movie last night. I've got to tell you that I, uh, so I always go back to Indecent Proposal was a movie that got everybody in the world talking. At dinner. Like, yeah. at dinner, dinner parties, oh, would you do it with a stranger for a million dollars, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and this is the new, this is the like new conversation. the new yes. conversation. Yeah. The substance. Would you take the substance. Can you explain to the audience a little bit about the film? So at the start of the film, um, I'm uh, an, an award-winning actress who has an exercise program, and I'm fired from my own show because I've aged out. And so it's at the depths of kind of rejection, despair, and I get offered a substance with the promise of a new, better me. Not realizing that that new, better me isn't just me getting better, it's actually an entity that is of me, that emerges out of me. Right. That I have to share consciousness with. Right. And then there's a, 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 like a trade-off. You have to sort of trade-off with each other. Yes, one, you can only be in each body one week at a time. Very strict. Mm -hmm. Very strict. Yeah, Very because strict. if you're, if it's not strict, stuff happens. Stuff yes. happens. It's the, the, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's definitely a trade-off. Mm. And yeah. when you're in the younger body where everyone's loving and adore you, why would you want to go back into the older body that's sad and depressed? Right. <laughs> right. 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 Well, but then this, then this body pays the price. It really is quite a conversation. It's, it's so much about what we tell ourselves in our own minds. Which is what really moved me. I mean, the movie is really about um, 
it's it's an unusual way of talking about aging. Mm -hmm. um, but the the thing that moved me most was about the violence that we have against ourselves, the way in which we can negatively talk to ourselves. And I am I always looked at it as if we were to ab able to create a physical manifestation of that violence mm -hmm. that and in the way that we can be, the way that we can exist and compare and despair what would it look like and and it becomes somewhat monstrous That's yeah, right. and, and and that is you know hence why this is considered body horror there is a scene and i told you about it i turn to mark there's a scene where you're getting ready to go out to dinner and when i see the scene it's and the depths yeah. of your emotion i also turn to him and i go that happens to me every time we go out to dinner <laughs> oh, no. where you're just it's like, do you just want to try, like, just like, I just want to make it a little better. Let me make little it better, a little better. better. And, you, and the next thing you know, it's, it's worse. It's way worse, and everything is out of control, and then you're like, you're, I, you know, listen, then you're I, like giving up. I fall asleep yeah. through every single film for a couple seconds. <laughs> And I'm going to say that this was a Mark and Suelos no sleep oh. film. No, he, no. did he not fall asleep he was actively awake <laughs> yes. so lovely to have you here with Thank us you so the much. substance in theater september 20th next a look at supplements to combat aging Stick around. thursday on live from the series the old man chef bridges They say if you have a 35% chance of rain. If this audience was the city, only. Hello, this is Kushan Dutrai. I don't know if you have any questions about the body of the body. Give me a little bit of a key to the body. If you do this, I will show you the body of the body. I will show you the body of the body. I will show you the body of the body.